Hello, I'm Jerry Roman and welcome back to my channel. If you follow the stock market, you know there is an epic shift from growth stocks to value stocks, and that's because rising interest rate and inflation favor value stocks. Rising interest rate hurt high growth stocks because their valuations are based on future earnings, and rising costs like interest rates on loans decrease their valuation. And if you think growth stocks have taken a hit already, wait until the interest rates are actually increased. And inflation is the double whammy because high growth companies that are losing money cannot improve non-existent profit margins and they have to pay employees more to keep up with inflation. Meanwhile, value stocks are profitable companies and they simply pass higher costs and inflation onto their customers because they are just keeping up with the times in current economy. And for many of these companies, increasing their prices to keep up with inflation actually increases their net profit margins. Today, I'm going to go over two value stocks with growing revenues that I just bought yesterday that you definitely want to check out. Let's kick things off today with a success story from our Discord. We're now in Discord and you can see a lot of our channels on the left hand side. We've got trade alerts and stock alerts, all of our different chat channels and we're now in winning trades and let's go over one from Two Bag Tony and Tony, I love the name. New to the Discord, set up the TUS indicators a few days ago, got the buy the bounce for that Zim, bought the February 18 $65 call at the end of the day yesterday, up 20% already, took profits, thumbs up. And then I responded, well played Tony. I'm I'm guessing Tony is not new to investing, but I could be wrong. Why? He may be new to our Discord, but his first winning trade is a quick hit option profit on Zim integrated shipping. Options can move quickly in either direction, and to me, this shows experience and not being greedy. And whether new or experienced, a one day 20% profit is awesome and shows the power of the indicators and knowing how to use them. Thanks for sharing, Tony. So we do everything inside of our Discord, and let's just jump over to our trade alerts. And here you can see some of the activity from yesterday. We've got a sell alert on a cash secured put on Tesla. Tesla. This is something that I do almost every week. We've got an update on last week's that I'm currently up 49%. Everything is going well on that. And then we've got one on TER that we're going to be covering today. And this is a buy alert on the stock as well as an option play. And if you want to grab our indicators, join our Discord, or do anything like that, the links are down below. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. <laughs> and let's start in tip ranks and here we can see it's rated as a strong buy based on 10 ratings. Our analyst price target is 162.11 which I think is a little on the low side and we can see our highest price target is $205 and if we scroll down a little bit we can see our most recent price target is coming from Vivek. He's got a success rate of 71% and his average return is 29.3% so pretty impressive and he's from Bank of America. He's got a buy recommendation on it and the upside here is 25.84%. Let's jump over to Beast Mode Stock Analysis and you're going to see why I love this stock so much. We're going to jump over to our scorecard and then all we have to do is put in TER colon US for the US market and boom, we should have a scorecard up in just a second. And this tells us a lot about the stock. We can see the last close, the market cap, it's in the semiconductor industry. And then what do they do? They develop, manufacture, sell and support automatic test equipment worldwide. And these are the fundamentals and this is the short version with a scorecard and you'll see why I love them so much in just a second. They're PE ratio is currently 25.9, so not bad. Their PS ratio is the price to sales ratio, and that's 7.1. Their operating margin is 29.3%, and this is what I love. Their net income margin, very strong at 25.3%. The return on equity is something that's very important to look at. It's 42% if you're looking for long-term stocks. And then we've got a free cash flow margin of 22% and a rule of 40 of 58%. So basically on the fundamentals, these guys are looking really strong. Now looking at the chart and at the top, we can see the TOS bar tells us how the stock's been performing. In one week, they're up 1.7%, one month, 4.9%. Three months, they're up a whopping 50%, which we love. The recommended trail stop is 8%. You can tell that I just bought yesterday and my profit, I'm currently down 0.1%. So there's still plenty of time for you to get in. And then if we look at my chart setup here, green is a great time to consider buying. Red is a great time to consider selling or at least not buying, depending on your strategy. And we've got strategy where we can short the stock and we've got strategies where we can buy the stock. So we've got it covered coming and going. We can also see that their revenue growth forecast is 17.9%. I just bought them at 163.05 and then I bought two things yesterday. One, I bought the stock and the second thing, I also did a vertical call spread and that's this right over here. So let's go over that. I bought the February 18th vertical call spread. I bought the 175. I sold the 170. My break even is 167. So that means 
as long as this stock is above $167 on February 18th, I will be making money. My maximum profit on this is $290 and my maximum loss is $210. And then if we come up and look at the stock side of things, we've got the risk management bar and this is basically a trading plan for our stock. And if you've got a $25,000 account, it's set up right now to take a 5% position size, which would be $1,250. So it asks the golden question, will I risk $105 and buy eight shares for $1,303? And if you're wondering why your risk is 105, that's because it recommends a trail stop of 8%. We've got a target price of 189.26 and a minimum profit per share of 26.36. So this is Teradyne stock. You can tell by the stock it's looking good. We picked up a buy signal and this buy signal might be a little early on our momentum indicators, but that's okay. And we're also in a momentum squeeze. And my regulars know I love buying when we've got these red dots and the squeezes going on. Next up, we've got ticker PSA and I bought public storage. These guys are a member of the S&P 500 and they deal primarily with self storage facilities. Looking at the numbers here, we can see their PE ratio is 37.4. Their net income margin is around 46.6%. And one of the things that I like about REITs is they have to distribute 90% of their profits to shareholders. And so that's a really, really big benefit. Now let's jump over to the charts. And here we can see the TOS bar is all green. Let's look at some of those numbers. In one month, they're up 3.4%. In two months, 12%. Three months, 16%. And one year, 63%. Our recommended trail stop is 5%. Our current volume is down about 23%. And that's very common whenever stocks are in a squeeze, which are these red dots right here. You can see that I'm currently up 0.1%, which is negligible since I just bought yesterday. And then if we look at the charts here, we can see they've been up, came down a little bit, and they're currently on a very nice uptrend. We did pick up a J5 buy signal yesterday and this is what triggered me to look at it and make the buy. And one other thing I want to point out for you on this signal is we can see that our short term trend right here is bearish and that agrees with our lower indicators right here. But you'll notice it's changing positive. So that changing positive is a little green arrow behind that yellow arrow and most likely this is going to change in the next day and either go gray or green. Here you can see another example where it changed positive and then it shot right up to the green. So we're hoping that same thing is going to happen now. We can also see that PSA's revenue growth forecast is 13.9%. And this is a company that I simply love and hopefully it's one that you'll check out as well. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments section. And if you made it this far, have a wonderful day. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to grab up to $250 of free Bitcoin with the BlockFi link below. Go get your free stocks from Moomoo and Webull. And if you want my indicators or any of the tools I use, those links are all down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.